In this video, our aim is to show that we can interpret simple harmonic motion as a projection of uniform circular motion onto one of the uh, major axes of the circle, circular motion. Uh, so for that, I'm going to start with a reference circle here. Uh, so let's call this a reference circle. And what I have here is a point P, uh, which is moving in a, in a circular path with radius A and initial angle phi. Uh, so if I take the projection of this uh, point P to the x-axis, I find point Q, and point Q is located at A cosine phi on the x-axis. All right, so let me note that here. Uh, so on my reference circle, uh, A is the radius, phi is the initial angle, and what I find is that this is the position at t is equal to zero. Uh, the position of uh, point Q at t is equal to zero is A cosine phi. Uh, then I move on to a different point in time. Now t is uh, greater than zero. So what I find here is that this point P has moved to a new angular position theta. So first it was phi, now it is theta, and where theta is omega t plus phi. So uh, let me note here, I had uh, this initial angle phi, and then I moved by a total amount angular displacement omega t. So phi plus omega t is equal to theta. Now, what is the new position of point Q? Uh, the new position of point Q at time t is x at time t is a cosine theta, uh, which is equal to a cosine phi plus omega t. And this is, by the way, remember the solution to our uh, equation of motion for simple harmonic motion x double dot is equal to minus omega square x so really the position of point q seems to be following uh, the solution to simple harmonic motion uh, let me analyze this a little bit further so if i look at the angle uh, here again angle theta and i i look at the tangential velocity of point p so that is this one, making a 90 degree angle uh, with the radial axis. And I uh, look at the angle this is going to make with the y axis. So this angle is 90 degrees theta and 90 minus theta. So this angle has to be equal to theta. So if I look at the velocity of point Q, uh, velocity of point Q on the x-axis, bx at time t, will be equal to uh, minus v sine theta. Now, what is v in uniform circular motion? v is equal to omega times r. Well, r is a in this case, so it's omega times a. So I find that the velocity uh, of point Q on the x-axis is minus omega a sine omega t plus phi, which is the velocity in uh, simple harmonic motion. And I go to acceleration now. Uh, now, if again this is the angle theta with the x-axis, this will be the angle theta. Uh, the acceleration vector, centripetal acceleration, will make with the x-axis. And I find that acceleration uh, on the x-axis at time t will be equal to uh, minus a 
cosine theta. So it's the x component. And now what is the acceleration uh, in uniform circular motion? It is uh, v square over r or omega square r because v is equal to omega times a. So I find that the acceleration uh, on the x-axis as a function of time will be equal to minus omega square a cosine phi plus omega t. Okay, so all of these are very good indications that uh, simple harmonic motion uh, basically simple harmonic motion uh, is the projection of uniform circular motion. And what is the relationship between the corresponding uniform circular motion and simple harmonic motion? A in uniform circular motion, A is the radius. In the corresponding simple harmonic motion, A is the amplitude. Phi in uniform circular motion is the initial angle initial angular displacement. In simple harmonic motion, phi is the initial phase. Omega in uniform circular motion is the angular speed. Omega in simple harmonic motion is the angular frequency. Um, so the the angular displacement as a function of time, theta, uh, is the angle in uniform circular motion or angular displacement in uniform circular motion, is equal to phi plus omega t, that is the phase of uh, the simple harmonic motion. Simple harmonic motion. Uh, what else do we have? We have the the speed, the constant speed, omega times a in uniform circular motion, uh, omega times a is the maximum maximum speed in the corresponding simple harmonic motion. And similarly, the centripetal acceleration is omega square a in uniform circular motion. Omega square a is the maximum acceleration in simple harmonic motion. So there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between simple harmonic motion and uniform circular motion.